So I'm here waiting for the milk to boil, uh, just to talk a little bit about homesteading. Just start a little bit from father. We used to buy raw milk. I know that in some place in the States, it's not allowed, um, I mean, companies are not allowed to sell raw milk. Mm, I don't know, it's bad to you. I'm sorry for that, but raw milk is really <clears throat> a very good and interesting um, food, kind of food. We usually buy that. We have um, a company over here that um, sells raw milk from biological um, uh, cows. I mean, they, they just take the cows around on, <clears throat> in the country land uh, to eat the grass. They're not um, growing them up with hormones or uh, antibiotics and that. So we have the <clears throat> luck we can buy that kind of, uh, of food, of milk. So milk usually has to be boiled to be ready to be uh, eaten or drink. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, we'll see today a way to make milk last a little bit longer than you usually can do with, um, with raw milk. We can do it <clears throat> just uh, doing the same way that usually the industrial um, companies do to make their milk last. The only thing is that we do it in a more natural way. We don't add any kind of chemicals. We just boil the milk and then we're gonna put it inside a glass bottle, cap the bottle up and let it sit upside down to let it cool. What's, what happens inside? You get a sterilized milk inside a sterilized bottle, so there should be almost no um, biological, uh, biological life inside here. Another thing you can do pouring directly the boiling milk inside the bottle is that when you fill it up, you leave just a little, little bit air inside that it rapidly get very hot. And you know what happens to, water, um, to air when it cools down. Uh, when it's hot, water tends to um, enlarge, I mean. And it's doing the opposite thing when it cools down. So we're having a, we're creating a pressure inside where we have hot water, um, sorry, hot air, which when the milk cools down, the air cools down and sucks uh, from the up, um, from up here. I mean, you can see the cat that is moving. This is just to check out uh, when you have pressure or depression inside. That means there's no air when it's pressed down. That's what we're trying to find. The least air possible inside, it means the, the longest uh, lasting of the milk inside the bottle. Obviously we have to keep it inside the, the fridge, that is normal. But you can have milk that is going to last <clears throat> not less than five to seven days inside here. <clears throat> See, milk is boiling. We have to wait five minutes of boiling before we can uh, put it in the bottles. This is because in five minutes, this is because in five minutes, all the um, biological life, I mean viruses or, um, <clears throat> I mean any kind of virus that can be harmful for a human being, is gonna die with a hot temperature, almost all, 90.99%. <clears throat> So we're waiting for the five minutes boiling and then we see what we do. Ah, I forgot a thing. I usually don't use the whole milk we have over here. Uh, I just, these are about um, uh, six liters. I mean, they're, 
I take off around four liters and I take two liters, uh, which is about two thirds of a gallon to make yogurt. And we'll see also how to do yogurt with the milk that uh, but we'll see it later. Let's wait up for that. Okay, five minutes are gone. Milk is still boiling and we're ready to put it in the bottles. So turn off. Check out this. Watch out not to put it outside or unbalance the bottle. Got a thing. <clears throat> Here. One. We refill it later. Okay. Now we get the caps. Squeeze it and put it upside down. <clears throat> Also, this because I already calculated how much milk I need to use before having two liters for the yogurt. Okay, so we are done. <clears throat> so now milk is ready. Milk is ready to cool down. We leave it over here until it's totally cooled up. And then we're gonna put it on the fridge. And this milk is gonna be ready to be drinking. It could be drinking either now, but you can wait to it to cool, and for the last five to seven days, you can drink it with no problems. So thanks a lot and have a good prepping.